Shalom everyone, welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international video. I'm Kenethia J. Thank you, our Father who are in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thank you for your presence, thank you for your protection, thank you for your glory. In the almighty name of King Jesus Christ. Thank you for answering all of our prayers that glorify you and that gives us peace. Thank you. Thank you for removing our distractions and keeping me calm through all the disrespectfulness in, at this house. <laughs> in Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Judgment is coming for spirit attachments and entities like Sometimes on camera, you get to see what I be talking about I go through off camera. And so what the Lord was showing me was there's a particular cousin that's a spirit attachment to my mom every day. And what they do is group-based malice. A group is two or more. And so they gang up on me. They had like, they, it just be disgusting, man. You see the kind of shit she do in front of and then... And then in the same sentence, she'll say, I declare and I decree and try to use God, but can't be around him. You understand what I'm saying? So I just be careful for people like that. That's it be for God. It be for y'all to see on purpose. I'm just starting to see that. I don't, sometimes you don't have to say your business. God will just show people that you telling the truth. So be careful for people like always wanting to help somebody and they can't help themselves or their own people in their own house. God keeps saying it starts within your own home. And so this cousin should be in her own home anyway. She's not even supposed to be in this house. And if you feel like you need evil, you need somebody to come and be attached to you and it can't be Jesus Christ or the Holy Spirit, God says your life is not his. Your life is your own. And so therefore, you don't need it. That's what God is saying. Unfortunately. Be careful how you treat people, guys. You got to reap what you sow. You got to go through that same bullshit ass attitude. Evil eye. An evil eye is just a spirit. It's a spirit that side eyes or that stops somebody from being happy. Stop people from getting they stuff that they want to get. That's the evil eye. Okay. Now, the number one. The number one, seeing the number one stands for a few things. New beginnings. A string of ones can be a sign that a new phase of life is on its way. Divine support. Okay. You have divine protection and support from God himself from the heavens. That's divine. It's only one divine, the Heavenly Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, okay? Alignment, if you're seeing one, 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 a bunch of ones, however you're seeing it, it does mean different things, like we got 11, 11, 1, 11, but at the same time, it's still a number one, okay? And so you are in alignment with what God is saying you should be doing. Not what man, not what the spiritual parents, not what the pastors say, but what God says you are supposed to be doing, you are in alignment. So we have to have faith and stay strong. Even though, like you see how this shit keep happening, but God saying I'm in alignment and you see how like it's nothing for me to do. Even go look for a job because I'm pregnant and because God doing a new thing through me. But I still don't have no money. Every day I wake up, I'm going through shit with this lady who thinks she, she don't owe me nothing, even though she owes me the rest of my life. From all the crap she just did over the last 10 years, even in this last year alone. Okay, but God says to have faith and be strong, even though it doesn't look like we're in alignment, we are. Okay, we are. The number one or one 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 one, which is eleven eleven, it can confirm that an important process is complete. Okay, and that you are supported by unseen forces. 
Okay, that's really good. That's what we be feeling. In love, it can also be a sign that you are in the right place romantically. Ooh. Mm. Okay, communication. <laughs> The number 111, which is three ones now, can also emphasize the importance of open and honest communication in relationships. Okay? There's no communication in a relationship. It's going to die. I say this all the time. <laughs> if you're not physically talking on the phone or physically in person communicating or WhatsApp or instagram or fa however you want to communicate it's it's not gonna work out y'all not talking and so what you think we're gonna fucking read each other minds no we don't have to do that why go through all that extra stuff when you could just talk on the phone and say hey how you doing <laughs> it may be after work you know probably had a little slight day you probably can't come see the person because of work but you could pick up the phone and make a phone call like you could communicate in a relationship or there is no relationship okay and spirit in spirituality the number one can also represent the unity of all creation the oneness of the universe the power of divine consciousness i call them the one the heavenly father spirit and son the one okay i remember i went to when I first went to this um, other church I used to go to, and I had got my hair done by this um, by this girl who went to who was from Phoenix Elementary School, right? And so she, as she was speaking to me, I heard God speaking. <laughs> And so, like, he was just saying, you should go to her church. Now, mind you, that's what she do. She do people here, refer them to church. But I really felt the presence of the Lord. And so I said, okay, well, when I went there, I said, well, the one sent me. God sent me. I never went into details and said, well, Toya did my hair, and we were talking, and blah, 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 and the presence of God came. And I ain't say all of that, but I told the truth. The one sent me. Do you know God chooses who he wants in his church? Like he picks and choose who he wants in his house so that way it can save the other brothers and sisters from the witches in, or witches being out of the church. It's the reason why God tells somebody to leave his house. And when you're disobedient, stuff happens. Be careful that the right people are in the church. When you see this number, embrace what makes you special. Okay, know your character, know the characteristics, blah, blah. Know the characteristics of yourself. Know what makes you special. Why does God like you? What does he say is special? Nine times out of ten, that's going to be somebody else's likeness that you meet down here. Like, when you get to know yourself, you get to have more fun with your personality and... You know what to take and not take. It's just very important that you understand what you like, what you want, and then communicate that. So that way, moving forward, you don't waste your time. Trust your gut feelings. If you're seeing this number, 1 or 111, trust your gut feeling. Whatever you feel like, that's what God is telling you to do. That mean it's not really your feeling, but it's the Holy Spirit. It's the gut feeling. He nudging you to make that decision. Okay, so you have to trust yourself. Okay, you are in the start of something new in your life. Encouraging you to stay focused and positive to achieve your goals. Okay, that's good. Seeing one is confirmation that you're paving your own path. I knew you told me that that night I was in church. <laughs> He's so happy with us. Oh, God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. You are paving your own path and need to continue focusing on yourself. The Lord has showed me, like, I don't know, maybe a week ago or so. Like, we had, we did a, we did a whole path for him. Like, he used me to open up something for him. And now it's like other people could, like, be free in him and not be so judged. Like, he was so happy we completed that. <laughs> So that's good. And you see how all this good stuff come and then you got all this spiritual warfare after or you got this one next to you don't want it to happen and so now they giving you all hell. Alright, so new guys. God is really referencing new. Stop trying to make people go back to the old. Stop trying to use your pastoral powers to do it. God is rebuking you and he's saying, I've spoke. He speaks. And these videos are just confirmation. He, he don't need us. Like he go inside and speak, meaning he been telling you this, but you not listening and so the video is coming out. Because it's not his will for no man to perish, so he just keep trying to save you. Anyway, I gotta go. Mm. Okay, let go of past disappointments. Let go of all past disappointments. I saw that. Something new is about to start, which hopefully is, um, it could be in love and all of that, but the, something new, the end of this negative ass cycle every day, waking up to this evil eye, waking, you understand, like getting out of this it fully, like that's what I've been trying to do for months now, years now, honestly. So hopefully God strike these people down out of my way. <laughs> This is foolishness. Hopefully these people come and manifest. Whoever's supposed to manifest, come, call, something. Because if not, it's like you just leaving me hanging. And I'm, I don't, that shit, I was just waiting. I ain't waiting no more. That was it. Anybody saw that movie? What is it called? Shantae. Shantae, Shantae. Oh my gosh. Y'all going to hell, dog. You know, these are family members. He's calling. He's selling stuff, but these are names that I know. Shantae, Shantae grew up in Queensboro, New York. That's that's not that's not my family, but I got a cousin named Shantae. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. What was the point of me bringing that up? Oh, because they was waiting on that scene. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She had to wait on her dad, though. I was waiting on this man. Because this man supposed to, because I'm pregnant. So God doing stuff supernaturally. But then none of them calling and stuff. And then they get mad at me for not waiting. And I'm like, I'm not waiting on no man. Just like you don't wait on no woman. What Snoop Dogg said, don't marry that bitch. Like, you see how y'all listen to the wrong advice? I'm li I'm going to trust my gut self like the number one say. We not waiting no more. We wasting time. This lady talking about some, some damn paperwork. I don't know. Like, you understand? Like, we next to a whole lady who keep lying, doing evil and shit. Like, we got to go. That's why God keeps saying have faith and stay strong. Because there's nothing else I could really do at this point. So, at all. There's nothing else I could do because of the path that this lady keep taking against me. Because she just, she done. If you're seeing the one, the number one, stay hopeful, stay positive. You're doing all that you can do. There's nothing else for you to do. Keep trusting yourself. New beginnings. Stay out of the past. I saw that. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say it. 
don't go back to anybody in your past because it's either a setup because they don't see what they did wrong and so they think you just left them they don't for some reason they got a fucking mental block and they don't see that they never called they never showed up but they stayed a spirit spouse and so when you try to go back these motherfuckers trying to set you up for rejection okay they have a whole little plan to embarrass you and reject you in front of people like you did something wrong and these people never initiated no communication okay and number two don't go back because they haven't changed so even if it's not a setup even if they don't plan on rejecting you they don't see what they did wrong and so you're gonna go back to the same arguments waiting on the same phone call you never got so that's the message I received and so he confirmed it by seeing the number one by seeing the number 40 don't go back to the past 